Welcome back to my channel guys, Automotive Inquiries here. Here with the 1997 Travel Supreme Express. This is a 29 RK SS, which means rear kitchen, single slide. Doing this one because uh, this is a blast from the past retro. Um, got it from basically a barn find. Um, we're going to do the interior today because that's what I worked on. Um, getting just kind of cleaned up to my standards still going to shampoo the carpets but uh, basically how it really handled uh, and held up over the years so everything's original nothing's been changed out furniture and everything's original um, windows original nothing like that so kind of cool this is actually a little LED light uh, kind of nifty there so we go in here um, back in those days they would have had brass <laughs> as everything so we come in here i'm gonna shut this door behind me keep the flies out so we start right here just kind of walking in this would be our ceiling um fan and the plastics did yellow with time that's just how they they age um, but we have our porch lights everything like that and then they put the scare lights on the outside the big huge round ones that's what they call those scare lights they turn those on and they basically light up the campground those are right there uh original wallpaper uh, original little clock works here and then in simplicity form, it's a um, one type switch. So you hit once, it brings a slide in, it then tells itself it's done, shuts off. You hit it again, it goes back out. Have a nice little feature here. These are standard drapes uh, and valances that they would have had back then. That's not something added. Uh, but in the other parts of the, the RV, they have um, like those scrunchy ones you see over there. So. Once you step up in the door, the, this furniture is original, so that is a little rocker recliner. Um, we'll tilt that window. The windows are slightly tinted to just give you some privacy. Um, then we come through here and we have the living room, fold-out couch. Um, and from the research I've done, this is all original, so the ceiling fan's original. Um, we got the little dinette, which you have to get used to stepping sitting down in because it's a little little tight i've whacked my hands a few times there but all these windows do open um, original vinyl looks good and then the rear kitchen here so we have a thermostat for the ac which is a 30 amp so that doesn't go on unless you have a 30 amp uh, designated breaker in your house the lower one is the thermostat for the furnace um, you can see right here that's where the slide comes in and stops once it's in so you'd still have access to your whole kitchen, your pantry, you would not, that's under the microwave, but that's a, it's a small pantry, so you could convert something else to that. So, um, But don't have to move that, uh, the recliner, anything to do that. And then you have a light switch there for a small reading light, um, which is right there. And then you have some speakers in the ceiling, but being a 97, uh, it was tape cassette not a CD player so kind of funky cool old school retro so as we come into here um, we have the Dometic Royal or Royale however you want to say that um, but you give it a little squeeze no ice maker or anything but super clean little fridge um, and just really good shape I do like the wire racks and then in here um, we went ahead and changed out all the bulbs to LED, so there's lower draw. Um, Amazon, uh, you can find some good ones. You can find some bad ones. I found good ones. I keep ordering them. So, a um, little tray here for the milk to pop out. If you want to take a gallon of milk, um, these little edges fold down, and you got a little crisper tray down there with a little cover that you're supposed to slide underneath this thing to keep it tight under there. Um, not like a true crisper though that's just your uh, little vent thing down there um, it's not storage um, we have a nice little three burner auto light stove so stove looks like it's brand new which is kind of cool and it has an auto lighter haven't really had an opportunity to play with it a whole lot um, but igniter might just need to be checked out but and then a little light here a little fan 
and then tons of storage good storage um, which if you're gonna buy anything old make sure you look back up in here and see if you see anything you know on the part but we got a little oven and then there's a big huge storage drawer pots and pans and then a bunch of little drawers here so then we got uh, there's the back side of your water heater but a lot of big storage underneath here I mean tons if you want to reach behind the pipes and stuff you can really store a lot so these double as counter space when you don't need them I wouldn't use them as a cutting board they are just the uh, countertop material which is like um, I don't know it's just not a solid surface but you know it's good good size sinks got some GFI's got some good lights in here um, and some of the stuff's not on switches some of it is but like I said we just switched all out to LED you can do that for very little amount of money and we come over here lots more storage uh, windows that crank open there is the switch for the water heater and then we got uh, more storage here pretty good so you could use that as your cupboard if you want and uh, it might be covered though when the slides in and then uh, pantries here but there's also the lower part for your uh, wiring and your breaker box a little sharp carousel built-in uh, microwave and then you have your upper areas here these windows do open you have just a little t little table here that you can take out it's not mounted down but this is just kind of a look back that way uh, carpet is super super soft which is pretty cool um, there's where an old like uh, tube TV would go um, you'd flip down that little tray and you'd have to move it but now it's with flat screens it's set up to basically put that in there so um, but yeah all the windows do tilt out it's kind of nice and then this is the, the couch that came in it matches everything else it's like a teal it's, um, everything like that which is kind of neat got some little wall sconces and then I really like this little cupboard I think it's pretty smart this is where you put all your bedding for the bed uh, we vacuum but there's a moth go figure uh, come into here and then again there's a little bit more storage totally old school tape deck but there are some outlets down in there so you could put a DVD player and stuff in there if you'd like a um, little reading light in here um, so that's in there and then as we transition up um, just over time the pocket door came loose I fixed that today um, so there's a pocket door here that would close off the bedroom there's some velcro on the back of that that closes that off and then there's a little latch so you can lock it um, and then you come up into what would be like your common area for your bathroom which you can shut off with this um, blind type partition it's gonna hook here and then if you shut this door, then you would have the sink, which is for your bathroom basically, here um, to wash. And then you come into the bathroom here, which is right around the corner. And it's got a really cool little uh, window that cranks open. And then there's those scrunchy blinds. Um, got a little medicine cabinet in here. It's not really big enough for towels, but I suppose if you want to roll them up, you could get them that way. Um, the lights in here are on the switch, which again we went to LEDs, and then this little fan is on a switch, which is kind of cool, but the way they put the rain dome on there, uh, the vent doesn't open all the way, so. Um, then you come in here, you actually have a bathtub, which if you're a very small human, you can use it. Uh, brass fittings, but then it comes all the way up to the shower, so it is a one piece, which is nice, so you don't have any areas where you'd have to re down at the bottom so you just do the shower door and back side of the shower door but six two and then i can stand in here and there's still about five inches above my head so probably swap this little shower head out it's kind of old um one thing that's big when you're six two is being able to sit on the, the can i guess if you will and shut the door and not have your stuff in here so you can shut that and i got you know about eight nine inches in there to use the 
the commode and it latches if you'd like. So that's kind of cool. And then if you like go in the restroom with the door open, then you can watch yourself. Um, cool little, um, again, I'm doing it very thoroughly because there's not a lot of information out there about Travel Supreme trailers because they were big in the 90s and uh, then switched to motorhomes and then they were bought out by Coleman um, and everything like that. So, um, but yeah, a little glitter door. It's kind of cool. So you can't really see through it. Obviously though, you can see through it. <laughs> so you, you wouldn't want your, uh, to walk in, have your wife be surprised, but pretty cool that that's even still, uh, all there. So, and then, uh, but it's a really nice bathtub. It's, it's for, for what it is. It's not all stained. It's kind of an ivory color. So that's nice. Then you get your Thetford, uh, flush and uh, then we come up in here there is a little step up into the bedroom um, come into here and again LED swapped out there and then the ceiling here vented ACs that's nice uh, really big like medicine cabinet um, which is pretty cool and then you got your your tank stuff here so you get your battery your fresh your black your gray and then your pump switch more storage underneath here so but even though there's not a real good linen closet there's this closet which is pretty cool and uh, you could definitely use it to do your coats and uh, and everything and then on this top shelf it's so deep maybe you could use that as towels and then there's these just nice extra drawers Know, all the way down it's kind of cool and then I really enjoy this versus a rod just because as you travel that stuff can go so far and this really keeps it locked down so I do like that I can appreciate that uh, and then being 6'2 this is a large step up but one thing I can appreciate is versus other um, ones that we've seen there's not a lot of room typically to actually walk on both sides of the bed so you have to shimmy um, I am bending my head a little bit because I'm 6'2 and I'll whack it, um, but it's that way on both sides, which I can really appreciate that because that's kind of nice. So you can actually come in here and then sit down and then kick back. I normally wouldn't have my shoes on the bed, but we haven't washed the bedding yet. My shoes are very clean. Um, so from here, you have all these little lights. This light in the bedroom, though, however, is, um, you know, based on your finger input it's not on a switch then you have these little incandescent reading lights which I don't really care for for those type of type of ones but there we go I don't think most of these have been used ever but <laughs> so you got that and then you have an opening window which they're pretty cool because they uh, are all going down so you can leave them open in the rain and uh, there's three do different louvers but like screen material usually breaks down after a few years of being in the sun and this thing doesn't look like it's been in the sun you'll see tomorrow after we get it washed up but uh, um just creates a nice cross breeze and then you do have a uh plug in there which would be great for um if you had full service to plug in and charge your phones and there's like a little railing right there to keep stuff locked in and then uh some factory art and then the little headboards kind of neat down here so kind of cool there um again brass is making its way back and then you got uh two really big armoires in here so i mean it's got to be almost 24 inches deep at the bottom and then you have a another rack at the top um you have your speakers over here and then a couple of nice drawers um socks and stuff uh, here's that partition. So if you really wanted to close this off, um, I don't think they use this a whole lot because there's no, uh, fly stuff on it. Um, but it would come all the way over here and, and kind of clip if you will. So you can have some privacy here. So I think that's kind of neat, you know, just, uh, you know, if you, somebody was sleeping and wanted to get dressed, if they took a shower and somebody was in your sleep, and that's kind of nice to have that. So, uh, just kind of cool there. 
And then it's old, so we don't want to force anything here. Just kind of slide it back. I, I don't really believe that's probably been used a whole heck of a lot. Um, decent storage on the outside, but uh, as we go over here, let me shut this off. Got a little rack here. Got this. I'd assume that this is all original because it's all brass that matches. And got ourselves a nice little window again right here. And then we have the same size of armoire again on this side. Or closets. Well, that's very good folk. Um, but yeah, a lot of great room in this in this 29 foot RV. So, and then there is it's making my sick here from moving the camera if I just one handed. So, good carpeted storage underneath there. The shocks need to be fixed or updated, they're old. Um, but nice carpet, really nice carpet in here. And I know people are like, I don't like carpet and coaches and whatnot, but I can really appreciate that because you know, after you've been on the rocks and stuff all day, it's kind of nice. But we don't wear shoes in our house, house, so you know, to come into the RV, it's not a big deal for tracking and stuff. We we leave it all outside, but um, I'm able to walk through the whole coach. I can't stand under the slide out, uh, the single slide, and I can't stand directly up in the bedroom. But if you're under six feet tall, you'll have no issues whatsoever. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's about the gist of a 1997 Travel Supreme Express 29 RK. SS is what it says on the thing, but not a book. And Kelly Blue Book say that it's uh, not a double S at the end, but I think it is Rear Kitchen Single Slide. But uh, yeah, really uh, enjoying the quality of it. It's all solid wood, uh, no veneers. Even the front of the fridge is real wood, which, you know, I can appreciate how nice that is because we went some new stuff and it was just kind of, uh, you know, all veneers and just kind of junk. But. Nonetheless, um, you'll see the outside tomorrow. It looks equally as nice. It's a great little, great little camper. And for somebody that wants to get into fifth wheeling, but you only have a half ton pickup, this is actually light enough that you know if your truck was, you know, had some timberings on it or some airbags. I mean, you could. The tongue weight's light. The trailer's light. You could you could really tow it. So, um, yeah. So other than that, guys, uh, hopefully this. Um, did it and tomorrow we'll be able to show you some more perks about the outside of how well this was built most uh, rvs in the 90s would have been made out of like aluminum uh that corrugated looking aluminum siding stuff and this one's all fiberglass with molded caps on the ends and uh, they did really well with it and it's held up over time so um we'll see you on the next one be safe out there guys